everybody, Carlos here once again, and I'm sure you've come across these on Amazon, eBay, whatever you want to say. These guys right here, Subrent, I guess that's how you would pronounce it. These are pretty much like a knockoff version of the Magic Clip, um, and I figured I'd give these a try, so we're going to do a quick unboxing, then we'll get on with uh, my experience using them, probably see a cut using them. So uh, let's get right into what's in this box. Uh, very simple packaging. This is one of the reasons why you save money. So you gotta give it to them for that. You're saving some money because they don't have very pristine packaging. It's not Apple, it's not Apple per se, right? So right off the back, you got your manual, which it's probably good to read, especially for seeing the charge time. That's very important. You want to make sure that you at least charge these for probably, uh, I would say, about 12 hours so you can get a full factory charge on these. That way um, you can get the most out of the battery that's in here. I believe this is rated for three and a half hours of use time. It has an LED indicator, so... Um, just read your manual. It'll give you some information on, especially with the battery, you gotta understand that if you just start using these right away, you can definitely damage the battery cells and because batteries have memory. So if you're starting to use it on a regular basis and it's only charged to 50%, later on, that's exactly what the clipper is gonna believe in a sense that it's, uh, that the capacity is around 50 instead of 100%. If you live somewhere else outside of the States, you're gonna need an adapter. Um, so make sure you buy in your region. Links will be down in the description nonetheless. Um, but here is the cord. Again, if you were to compare these to the Magic Clip, um, they're definitely pretty close in design. So you get your charger. This is what you get right here. This is what you get. Comes in this plastic. Um, first impressions, I like the weight. It definitely feels substantial, not um, cheap by any means. There's my daughter. Uh, it feels good. It comes with what I would consider my favorite kind of blade, which is the ridge blade. Um, others like the fade blade. I prefer this over the fade blade only because I like to move a little faster and with the fade blade, I tend to kind of get stuck on the skin a little bit. You gotta be a little bit more uh, careful with it. You wanna not kind of dig in as much where this one you can kind of, you have a little bit more free freeway. So I'll, I'll be interested to see if this blade is any good. Um, I'm noticing now that this guy has, you have 0 0.8, uh, in between that, we got one, one fourth. Let's see if you can see that. One fourth and two. Feels like it's built well. It seems like there's power moving through this thing. You can hear it. It's not too bad. So, all right, let's get into this. So now that I've actually used these for going on a couple weeks now, I have to say that these are fan freaking tastic. Actual machine itself is awesome. I love the fact that it has this little readout that tells you the percentage. It's a pretty quiet clipper when it when you think about you know being in an environment, in a barbershop environment. It's got a good motor inside of it the key is what's the battery going to be like in a you know in a couple of months is the motor or the actual battery going to start decreasing i don't know that'll be a long-term review that i have to do but for right now i have to say that i've been really impressed with the way this thing is overall my opinion is that this is a fantastic machine for the price links will be down in the description if you like this video make sure you like share and subscribe uh subscribe man um we doing more of these reviews uh, i had a main i have a main channel which i do a lot of technology stuff that's why i have a lot of experience with this stuff i've been a barber since the age of 11 pretty much not in the 
professional standing, but that's when I started cutting hair. Um, so I have a lot of experience and I've been tinkering with these kinds of machines for a long time. Um, and I think that's the difference. I can give you an honest review. Um, it sounds like I'm gloating over these things. They're not perfect, but I have to say for the price, a lot of the stuff that you will overlook and there's very, and they're very small things. So just keep that in mind, guys. Links will be down in the description. Um, let me know what your experience is like. Again, everyone's going to have a different opinion. I'm just giving you mine. I really like these for the price. You cannot beat uh, what you're able to do with these things. Um, just change the blade. That's key.